Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on dividing decimals by negative powers of 10. And what I mean by negative powers of 10 are things like 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, etc. Now we've first got 3.4 divided by 0 0.1. Now I have two different methods of doing this and you just pick whichever method you prefer. Now one way is to do what we usually do when we divide two numbers involving decimals. And that's to basically multiply both numbers by 10 until this right number is no longer a decimal, it's a whole number. So if we do that, if I multiply this by 10, then this becomes 34. If I multiply this by 10, the decimal point moves right one and we just get one. So we've got 34 divided by one, and that's just 34. So that's one way of doing it. Or method two is to replace the 0.1 with a fraction. Well, 0.1 as a fraction is a tenth. Now, do you remember when we divide by fractions, we can use the keep, flip, change method. So we keep this number as it is, we change the divide into a times, and we flip this second fraction, that's 10 over one. Now, 10 over one is just 10. So we've ended up with 3.4 multiplied by 10. Now, when we multiply by 10, that moves the decimal point one place to the right. So we end up with 34. So I have a method we use, we end up with 34. Let's do a similar thing here. I'm gonna use method two actually for this. So we've got 2.9 divided by 0.01, and that's the same as 2.9 divided by a hundredth, because 0.01 is a hundredth. Now let's use a keep, change, flip method for dividing fractions. We got 2.9, we keep this, we change this into a times, and we flip this, keep, flip, change. So divide, change it into a times. Now if we flip that upside down, we get 100 over one, and 100 over one is just 100. So 2.9 multiplied by 100. Well, we have to move the decimal point two places to the right. So it first moves one place to the right to get 29. And then if we put a zero on the end, it moves one more place, we get to here, so it's 290.